Welcome to the Barbara Jordan Building. In the lobby, you'll find inspiration from our building's namesake, reflecting on the importance of education. As we move into our new workspace, there's still some construction work to be done. In this video, we'll point out new features that'll make the Jordan Building unique, but are still getting those finishing touches. We start on the first floor where the cafe of the Jordan Building will be located. Against these green walls will be the vendor's food counters to make your selections. The cooking and food prep areas will be in the back. This area will have tables and chairs for dining. And additional seating will be available outside on the terrace. Moving on to the fitness center, once completed, this area will be available for group activities like yoga or cross training. There will not be workout equipment installed here, but you'll be able to bring your own equipment as long as it can be carried and stored at your desk when not in use. The fitness center will include accessible showers and locker rooms for men and women, with storage to temporarily hold clothes and other personal items. Once the center is ready, we'll provide instructions on how groups can reserve the space. When complete, the intelligent elevator system will only be accessible to badged employees. As we move into the Jordan Building, all the card readers are not active yet. For now, to use the elevators, you'll select your floor from a touchscreen, and the system will respond with a letter telling you which elevator will take you to your destination. It's important to use the designated elevator to proceed to your selected floor because there are no numbered floor buttons on the inside of the elevator cars. Right now on the touchscreen, you'll see floor numbers marked with R these indicate rear door openings, which will be used for freight deliveries. The freight elevator will only be available to authorized staff. Once the badge readers are fully functional, the screens will only show you floors that you have access to. Badge readers are currently active at the front entrance and in stairwells. Badge readers for other areas will come online as parts become available. The Texas Conference Center is located on the second floor this area is managed by the Texas Facilities Commission and will be available for event reservations by other state agencies. The center includes a variety of spaces for conferences and meetings. Floors 6 and 7 will house our administrative operations. On the 7th floor, you'll find Human Resources, the ITS Help Desk, Shared Services, and the Employee Ombudsman's Office. On the 6th floor is Procurement, and general services, as well as financial services. Most floors will have conference rooms available near the elevators for group meetings. Break rooms are located on each work floor, equipped with refrigerators and microwaves. The break rooms will feature filtered water and ice machines, as well as pod-style coffee and tea makers, which will also be fed from the filtered water supply. Office supplies will be located in a central area on each work floor along with our multifunction printers and scanners. Near each printer will be a work table with staplers, paper cutters and other shared equipment. On the sixth floor you'll find the service center including the cashier's office, the agency's copy room and mail services room. Mail pickup will be self-service each division will have their own mailboxes corresponding to assigned mail codes. Divisions will be provided keys to open their mailboxes and will be responsible for picking it up as needed. If an item requires a signature confirmation, there will be a note in the mailbox directing you to the service center window to sign for the delivery. There will be slots for outgoing agency mail and interagency mail. There will be a box in the lobby for outgoing regular mail. Unfortunately, there have been some delays in the delivery of our workstation modular furniture. We're still waiting for some individual lockers and other small pieces that will be part of the workstations. These pieces are being installed as they arrive. The computer equipment you have now will be moved to the Jordan Building. Workstations have built-in stands to support two monitors but for staff that currently use only one monitor, the unused monitor arm will be removed. Another sign of the ongoing work are a few red flags hanging from the drop-down ceiling. These flags are construction markers 
showing where additional work still needs to be completed. There's no danger associated with these areas, but the flags should only be removed by construction crews after their additional work is finished. On the sixth floor near the elevators, there's a lobby waiting area. This serves as the entrance to two large rooms that can each hold up to 50 people for agency meetings or training sessions. The rooms are separated by an accordion wall that can be opened to make one large meeting space. As we move into TDI's new home, please be aware of your surroundings. Take some time to get oriented. There may still be building supplies and occasionally construction workers finishing up projects in our work areas. Most of the work in areas that are already occupied is scheduled to take place after hours, but you still may see construction workers passing through your work area. We'll give staff as much notice as possible about areas where construction projects are taking place. Welcome to the Jordan Building.